What's good, what's good? This your boy Jerus. This is another episode of Kane's Hills. And we just coming with a real quick one on this topic with the news coming out about Jalen Carter. You know, he's supposed to be in a top five pick in some draft rooms, maybe a top three pick. And it's all about choices, man, with this guy, man. Allegedly, he was racing with the staffer and teammate that were killed um, in January. You know, much prayers to their family, to everybody that was affected by that. And it's just basically, man, about us as young men, athletes, yo, we have to make the right decisions, period, man. Like, the chances of you making it to the NFL are very slim. Jalen, why are you racing when you worth all that money? Those are questions that need to be asked. Now, hopefully, this is going to affect this draft start because really they don't want to give you that money. At the end of the day, they don't want to give you the money. They don't. They want. They are praying that you do something so they don't have to give you that money. They don't want to really give it to you. They want an excuse to lower your to lower your bag. They don't want to give you. You can just look at all the circumstances that's going around in the NFL. People, they really don't want to give you all of this money. But they need you so they can make money off you. So let's not give them a reason not to give you the bag. Even if he's acquitted or it's nothing come from it, his draft stock gonna fall. So let's not give no one no excuse not to give you the bag off a simple decision. Just a simple decision. A simple decision. And the reason, and I'm also piggyback off. They don't want to give you the money. This is another reason why. It was said that Jalen Carter was just about to have a presser in Indy. You know, he was about to get ready for the combine. He was just about to have a presser in Indy, and then the, then the news came out. Is that a coincidence? That's not a coincidence. Somebody leaked that. Somebody went ahead and leaked that. In the league, they probably already knew what was going on anyway. They already knew. That's all. You know I mean, they already knew. So they went ahead and leaked it. Right before his press and Andy, like, nah, we're not gonna let you get up here and talk and uh, sway the public opinion on this, on anything. Because nobody knew. The public didn't even know. They didn't even know. So now, right before his press and Andy, he has to come out with a statement and go and turn himself in in Georgia. That top five money, 20 plus mil, signing bonus, it's gone. It's gone, man. So luckily, hopefully, he gets acquitted and it's, and it's they're all misdemeanors. Hopefully, you know, he's still going the first round. But man, at the end of the day, they don't really want to give you that bread, man. They don't want to get to you. They're hoping you screw it up. And if any young kids out here watching, just and you know you're going to the league, just 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 you know, just just think about it. Use this as, you know, use other people's failures to help you excel in life. You know what I mean? Use other people's mistakes like that. He did that. You feel like you out of race, you got your charger, your challenger, you got your scat pack, your hellcat, whatever you got, and you about to do something, just be like, mm, and you know you might be top 10. Why? Like, why would you do it? It's like, nah, use somebody else's failures to help accelerate your growth. You know what I mean? Use somebody else's failures to learn in life. You'll skip the line, man. You and you'll get a lot farther, a lot further further in life, man. And just to say that, man, and it's a sad situation, man, because people lives were lost in this situation when it could. <laughs> Alcohol was involved in the situation. So my young people, just think about, just think about it. You know what I mean? Just think about it. And um, you know, everybody, we ain't we ain't perfect. We ain't perfect people. But let's try our best to even with the small things, do the right thing. You know, do the right thing. Do the right thing. And it's a lot of pressure on these young kids, man. But we, we just gotta at the end of the day, we gotta do the right thing. And um, I hope everything goes good for Jalen Carter, because he was definitely a beast. And we just need to use this as an example. So, you know, for the for the youth not to do the same thing. That's it. Because at the end of the day, they don't want to give you that bread. All right? They're just looking for somewhere to take it from you. All right? This is the rules with Kane's Hills. I'm out. Peace.